All I have for you is a word. Tell it. I've been working with the IMAX format for years now, and it has this extraordinary strength and power in terms of how deeply it can take the audience into the story. The IMAX camera will make you commit. It keeps you engaged, keeps everybody locked in, and I love that. This is my third film with Chris Nolan. Every production has more and more sequences in it that we chose to shoot on IMAX. We used more cameras and shot more film than I think any project's ever shot. Hoyter and his team were able to get the camera absolutely everywhere that I could conceive of. We had such fun with them. We were just using them as if they were any old camera. They're like kids. They're like, we're just, oh, well, well, actually, we can set up here. We can, they just, they get excited about what they can create, what we can find. I think we did a lot of things that you haven't really seen done before. We wanted to not only shoot IMAX, we wanted the IMAX cameras to run backwards. Time travel. No. Inversion. Whoa. Chris is really great in that he wants it for real. He wants it in camera. He doesn't want to do CG. I think the audience is always aware on some level of the difference between things that are animated and something that's been photographed. I'm hoping to give them a reason for reapproaching action cinema. People always talk about IMAX. Oh, it's big. For me, it's also something else. It's something very visceral. To really feel it on a gut sense, you need that large format. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. Not in such a massive. It's a really extraordinary format, and where people are able to experience the film that way, they're going to get the highest possible sense of immersion into the world of tenor. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic.